Hello my lovelies and welcome to a new vlog. Well, welcome to an extension of last week's vlog really if we're being honest because I've literally just put down the camera to finish off last week's vlog. But tonight we are going to the Hans Zimmer concert. I think it's Central Westminster Hall or something like that. And so I thought I would do a little bit of a get ready with me. It's a bit of a date night as in it's just me and my husband. Normally when we go out we're always with friends, we meet up with other friends and stuff. But tonight it is just me and my husband, so I'm going to call this a date night. It's kind of like a date night. I've just washed my hair and I used the Shark Flex Style, which I'm getting to grips with. I'm loving. I've decided that for me it works better if I use it on medium heat, not on the high heat, because I just find that the high heat is too hot. And it's, yeah, I'm, I love it. It's kind of frizz free. I used the oval brush. In fact, I have it here. I use the oval brush this time and then I just use the little curling ones just for the two front pieces of hair here but um, I just wanted it smooth and no frizz and I think that we have achieved that basically. I might put in a couple more curls at the end, let's see once I've done my makeup but I thought I would do my makeup with you. It's not going to be a big makeup because we're literally going to a concert and it's just my husband and I don't mean that with any disrespect <laughs> but a he sees me all the time without makeup as do you also I don't need to do a big heavy duty thing because no one's going to see us that we know I'm not going to be taking photographs the more I put on the more I have to take off tonight and you know what some men are like my husband is no different quite often he just says to me I like you without makeup so we're just going to keep it really really low-key with the makeup so I've got my skincare on, as you can see. It's kind of quite glowy. I'm using the Omravitsa Illuminating Moisturiser, which is just heaven. I love it so much. By the way, if I have mentioned anything in this video, I will make sure to link it all below in case you wanted to check it out. But I'm gonna just do my makeup because I've got nothing else to do at the moment. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is literally my holy grail foundation. I mean, I use all sorts of different foundations all the time, but this one is the one. Like for a night out, especially when I don't really want to put too much makeup on, so I just want my skin to look perfect, this is the one. I'm only going to use one pump because I don't want a heavy look. It's a miserable, miserable day outside always whenever I do my hair it's always a miserable day and it's raining and it's horrible and my hair will probably frizz within five minutes of going out. I did just go out to pick up my daughter and I wore a hood and I think I'm going to have to do the same tonight because it's miserable outside and it's grey, it's windy but mostly it's just grey and dark and horrible. So yeah just one pump of the luminous silk is all I'm going to use. I'm really just going to focus on skin because I always think if the skin looks good then the rest of it just follows suit. I've had a few breakouts as you can probably see. There's the remnants of them there. Oh there, that's quite visible. I'm going to have to put concealer on there and I have one there and I had two matching breakouts. I had one here and one here which was the weirdest thing. They're all on their way out now and I'm hoping that they don't make a reappearance anytime soon. I was at a Studio 10 shoot just recently and I discovered their concealer, which I have in a concealer shade, but this is more of like a peachy shade. So I think I'm going to try that as a corrector. It's very brightening under my eyes, as you can see, but that's what I need because the sleep is still evading me. Put a little bit there, and then while that is kind of marinating, <laughs> I'm going to just quickly do my eyebrows. I don't know if I've mentioned this on my YouTube channel. I know that I've talked about it on Instagram, but I was recently introduced to the Delilah makeup range, and oh my goodness, like literally love every single product that was sent to me. This is the eyebrow pencil and they sent me a brow gel as well so I use that at the end but this is so lovely. I'll make sure to mention all the shade references for everything that I talk about 
including the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'll put it all in the description box below in case you are the same shade as me. But this just gives me really natural looking fuller brows. I don't change the shape of my brows. I think I say this all the time. I don't change the shape of my brows, mostly because I never ever get them symmetrical. <laughs> so I just fill in where it's a bit sparse, double-ended. So on this side, there's a fabulous little spoolie, which I use to just brush it back up again. I'm gonna use the brow gel, a tiny little thing like this. I don't want too much on this, so I always just wipe off on the mouth of the tube. And this will just hold them in place. It's slightly tinted as well, so it just adds to the definition of my eyebrows. These two combined are just eyebrow goals which is especially important seeing as I am not going to be putting on too much makeup. I always say that and then you watch I'll end up putting on a full face of makeup. Blend in the corrector. If you use a corrector you need a lot less concealer. In fact on good days <laughs> I'll go without a concealer and just use the corrector. And I use a dabbing patting motion for blending it in because I don't want to move the product away from where I applied it obviously because I've applied it exactly where I have my dark circles. And I'm especially dark right there, right inside, between my eyes and the bridge of my nose. So I'll always take the corrector all the way up through there just to lighten that up. I've fallen back in love again with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And this is really down to my daughter. She bought this for herself and it was the wrong shade for her. And she just said to me, I think it's the right shade for you. And you know what? She was absolutely right. So she's given it to me no doubt because she wants to go and buy one for herself and I used to use this back in the day when it launched and I haven't used it for such a long time I hadn't repurchased it and I think that back in the day I was using the wrong shade because this is considerably lighter than the shade I used to buy but I think that this is much better hats off to my 16 year old daughter because if it wasn't for her I would not have rediscovered this and you may be wondering why I'm doing concealer before I do my eyes like in terms of eyeshadow and stuff but I'm not actually going to do any eyeshadow I am just going to do eyeliner and mascara and keep it really really simple and let the skin hopefully speak for itself and I always go over the edges with my foundation brush just to make sure that it is all nicely blended for my eyeliner I have run out of well I can't find my new Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner and I've run out of the one that I was using but that is not a problem because I have this. It's gorgeous. This is from Hilden Beauty. They only have two colours, I think. Or maybe they've just launched a third. But I have it in black and brown. I can't find my brown. I would have used the brown if I could, but I couldn't find it. So I'm using the black Hilden Beauty eyeliner. I'm going to have to do this off camera because I need to get right up close to the mirror. And this is the dream eyeliner. It is jet black. Can you see that? I haven't put mascara on yet. Just the eyeliner. They also do a really brilliant little double-ended brush which I think I've talked about before and it has this fabulous angled brush at one end and then a smudging brush at the other. I can just make sure that this looks right using the angled brush. Just pull out the wing a little bit. I can't tell you how much I love this eyeliner. You hardly have to touch your skin and it just deposits so much color so much pigment it's so nice now if my eyes were the same shape that would make life so much easier lashes i'm going to do what i always do i'm curling them with my fabulous fabulous lash curler amazing one this i will definitely link this for you down below because it's the best one on the market then we go in with the lash primer which i live by i buy this like three at a time when i get this and then the mascara that i've been loving is the one from delilah cosmetics Don't know why, but curling my lashes always makes my eyes water, but it makes such a difference, especially if I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, just eyeliner, it makes such a difference, as does this primer. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I haven't used powder on my face for a very long time. I just, I don't know, I find so many powders very aging, they're very drying, they look cakey, but a couple of powders have come into my life recently, which oh my goodness, have changed my opinion and I love them and I'm kind of falling back in love with powders again. One of them is this one from Sculpted by Amy. I think it's her finishing veil, velvet veil. It's called 
Vel sorry, it's a bit grubby <laughs> because I'm using it daily. It's called Velvet Veil and it's a loose powder. It has its own little brush and I just take a tiny amount. Can you see it kind of coming up? It's so fine. It's literally like air. And I just press that in under my eyes to set the concealer and the corrector and everything that I use there. It's so fine that it doesn't make me look cakey or anything like that at all and it contains hyaluronic acid so it's moisturising rather than drying under the eyes which is very important to me because that is somewhere where I get very dry and then you can see the fine lines but it's not 100% matte either I don't know if you can tell it's not 100% matte there's still a radiance under the eyes which again really important because you don't want it to be dry and matte so matte that it just sucks in the light it's radiant so it kind of reflects the light and just makes them look a little bit lighter so i love that powder there's another one i'm going to use which i will show you which i've also been loving so i've given the lash primer a little bit of time to just set but not 100 percent dry and now i'm going in with the mascara this is the delilah one that i mentioned i only put mascara on my upper lashes i never put it on my bottom lashes just because well this is going to sound terrible but my lashes are quite long and if I put it on my lower lashes, I feel like I look like a painted doll, which is just not a good look. So I tend to only put it on my upper lashes and I let my lower lashes just be, like I might define the, the lower lash line with some eyeshadow or eyeliner, but I won't put mascara on. So that's one coat of mascara. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit, not too much, while I go in with oh, this other powder. Oh my goodness. I have had this in my drawers for I don't know how long. Didn't really get around to using it too much. And then I don't know why I pulled it out of the cupboard the other day. It's from Kevin O'Quinn and it's a bronzer, but it has the most delicious highlight as well. So it's a gradiated is that the right word it's a gradient darker here and then lighter up here and i just swirl that all over my cheekbones and i absolutely love it look at that it gives me glass skin vibes it's just so beautiful it's kind of glossy skin in a powder literally has made me fall in love right that is with nothing on can you see that it's defined my cheekbone and highlighted at the same time i don't know how it does it don't ask me how there's some magic in this somehow but it is gorgeous. It's really hard for me to kind of stay away from putting too much on and not go too overboard because I'm so obsessed with this powder right now. Love, 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 love it. I think I am going to put a little pop of colour on there and this is my Milani Luminous, no, Luminoso it's called. I'm going to use the same brush. Most gorgeous kind of peachy colour and it's called luminous for a reason there's a lovely sheen to it so that's just going to add a little bit of color otherwise i feel like i'm looking a bit drained again with this one as well it's too easy for me to go overboard because a i love blush b love this blush more than anything i find really buffing it in makes all the difference to how the skin looks if you think i'm going a little bit overboard with the buffing in that is why Okay, that is kind of it. Last up to do is lipstick. And I'm, you know, I'm an hour away before going out. I don't know if I want to put on any lipstick, but then I want you to see the finished look as well. So what are we thinking? Shall we do red? I'm thinking maybe red, a little bit festive. Or this, which is a slightly pinky red. I'm gonna take off my lip balm. I think this was a limited edition. It's Marc Jacobs and it's called Charlotte. And I think it was a limited edition when Princess Charlotte was born. I'm not going to do any lip liner because I want a kind of more natural, a bitten lip look. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on and pushing the colour into my lips. So it's more like a stain really. Oh, I absolutely love that colour. I haven't worn it since I can't remember how long. And I don't know why, because I love it. I'm gonna start using this a lot more, especially with this, when it's all really clean on the skin and I put very little kind of heavy makeup on the skin. I think a nice bright lip like that is just, what do we think? Or do you think red? Or do we think nude? I don't know. 
I'm thinking it's a night out. It's a date night with my husband. I think we can go with a, a brighter lip. What do we think? Well, I've got time to think about it. I'm not leaving the house for another hour and I'm gonna eat something before I go. So I will probably have to reapply anyway. So we can decide closer to the time. I haven't even decided what I'm gonna wear yet. And I want to get all dressed up, but I, ugh, the weather is just pants. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna have a nice hot drink, maybe that green coffee that I showed you the other day. And then I'll decide. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna wear. We're leaving in 20 minutes, so I have to hurry, but I'm going to wear this. This is an old Victoria, Victoria Beckham top, but I just love the kind of fluted sleeves and it's knitted. So it'll kind of, kind of keep me warm, but will also be kind of cool. And I'm going to wear that with the new faux leather Nanushka trousers, which I showed you in last week's haul. Again, all black, no great surprise there, but easy to wear because it's raining outside it's really not nice weather we're not going to have to walk i think my husband's organizing a car to go there and back again so that would be nice so yeah nothing left to do now but get dressed outfit is on yeah what do we think i mean it doesn't really matter what i wear to be honest but you can't see the whole thing i come back a bit that is the outfit and i've just got to figure out what shoes to wear I think I'm just going to wear boots, to be honest. High heel boots, I think that will be the best thing, given the weather. Then I'm ready to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to take you with me. If the Jonathan Ross filming thing was anything to go by, I don't think they allow cameras in anywhere where they've got a concert or anything like that. But if I can get anything on my phone, I will do my best. For a new product from Heights Brain Care. It's a supplement, we're going to hear loads more about it. I'll try and film a little bit later. I don't even know if you can hear me, but I was so rushed this morning that I couldn't film anything at home. But yeah, I've got a busy, busy day. I'm also going to go and see some of my favourite brands later, and then we're going to my friend's house for lunch. So there's loads happening today. I think we're all about set up. So I'm going to start soon. And after the session with Heights, we're doing some sound therapy with Farazana. <laughs> and I'm so excited for this because a couple of times I've been kind of scheduled to do one of her sound therapy meditations and I haven't been able to make it. So I'm very excited to be able to do it today for the first time. Love it. And you know how much I love crystal bowls and sound therapy. So very excited. <laughs> everyone busy on their phones and yet again there is so much lovely food which I can't eat because as you know ooh, even more coming <laughs> even more food being put down but obviously with my intermittent fasting I can't have any of it I'm just having black coffee but there's no reason why you shouldn't see and enjoy all this gorgeous food
just arrived at the Soho Hotel going to the glorious brands press event loads of beautiful beautiful brands and uh, yeah definitely want to show you some of the things so just how gorgeously is this room laid out I will have shown everything on stories rather than on here because we could be here forever so hopefully you will have seen my Instagram stories and all of the beautiful things that are here today here we go <laughs> just left the glorious brand event and it started bucketing it down I have been planning to walk to my friend's house but that's just not even feasible it's literally pouring down so I'm in the back back of a cab oh. as you can tell <laughs> and yeah gonna go and have some lunch haven't eaten yet all day so i think my fast day is probably going to be about 19 or 20 hours which i'm very pleased about i feel absolutely fine absolutely fine i don't know if i told you at the weekend i did a 26 hour fast so on saturday i finished eating at 3 30 and then i ate again at 5 30 on sunday so that's 26 hours and i felt great i felt absolutely great so it's going well just arrived at the Sheer Text Press Day. Let's go inside. on its way and in. And it won't, and, and you know what's kind of neat is you're gonna see like the little, it's gonna poke out, but all that's gonna happen is the fibers are just gonna bounce back into place instead of tearing. So it's like a neat little application of really tough fibers mixed together. And like there's a lot more to the tech behind it because it was quite hard to process. So these are some of the sheer text heights and these are all in 30 denier, I think. Some pattern ones. I love this pattern. This is the material. This literally doesn't snag, doesn't catch on anything. I think you get up to a hundred washes and wears on your tights, which is absolutely incredible in terms of sustainability. And there are so many styles. Can't really see them here, but there are so many styles. I'll make sure to link there. UK website down below because they're now available in the UK. Finally home after such a long day. I've changed into comfies. Um, such a long day. Got caught in the rain many times as you can see from my hair. Completely bedraggled. The very kind doorman at the Soho Hotel lent me an umbrella. Thank goodness. I think I would have just been I would have drowned without the umbrella. It was pouring with rain. Um, I couldn't take you to the lunch, sorry. And as you would have seen, I just popped into the Sheer Text launch in the UK, which is so exciting because I've wanted their tights for so long, but I refused to pay all that shipping from the US and the customs and all the tax and all of that stuff. So it's really good to see that they are now in the UK. And I just found out while I was there, they've got their Black Friday sale on till the very end of November, which means their tights are quite expensive. They're about 60 pounds, I think, 60, 65 pounds. But in the Black Friday sale, they are all about half price, I think, or at least the plain ones are. I'm not sure about the patterned ones. I have to look into it, but that was good news. So hopefully you will see this in time if you wanted to shop Sheer Text. I keep seeing their ads all over Instagram, but as I said, I refuse, what's his hair doing? I keep, I refuse to pay that kind of stupid import from the US so that's really exciting news anyway I am now home I think both my daughters are a bit under the weather so I'm going to go and focus on the family and I will see you tomorrow good <clears throat> <laughs> good morning I think you're the first person I've spoken to this morning I'm about to head to the gym I normally do the school run and then head to the gym but my daughter's not feeling well and she, so she is taking a sick day from school
but I was already dressed for the gym by the time I woke her up to go, so I'm gonna go. And then we're heading out for lunch today, which will be very nice. I hope the weather plays ball. As long as it doesn't rain, I don't mind. As long as it doesn't rain. I'm not holding out much hope for that though, because it looks like it's been raining, just looking out in the garden. Looks like it's been raining all night. So, I mean, the garden looks lush, but it's not gonna bode well for getting dressed and going out for lunch and doing the hair and yeah, all of that stuff. I'm quite tired after yesterday. It was a lot of stuff yesterday and it was a long, long day. Consequently, I forgot to put my YouTube video out last night. So I put it up at like 7.30 this morning on Wednesday. And as you know, I normally push my videos live on a Tuesday night. So apologies that we were about 12 hours late, <laughs> but hopefully you'll still have watched it. I'm gonna go and do an upper body workout and then I will see you back at home.